A lot of people want to know if artificial intelligence will be able to replace human actors with synthetic actors at some point in the future. The short answer to that question is yes, and that future is probably only 10 to 15 years away. The technology is already out there. Anthony Bourdain's voice was recreated for a recent documentary, and South Park had an episode that was partially written by ChatGPT. The negotiations that are currently happening between uh, unions representing actors and writers on one hand, and the union representing production houses on the other hand, if you read beyond the lines, those negotiations are all about not allowing AI to become mainstream in Hollywood. We are being systematically squeezed out of our livelihoods. Into Studios who say it's unrealistic what you're asking? It's not unrealistic. It's realistic. What the hell are we doing? Moving furniture around on the Titanic. We're all going down unless we rescue ourselves right here and now from people that really are doing bad things to good people. It is becoming increasingly easy to generate content using artificial intelligence. Wonder Dynamics, one of the companies at the leading edge of this technology, they created a program that is extremely easy to use. You shoot a video of yourself walking down the street, you insert that video into the program, you drag and drop an avatar onto yourself, and then it's the avatar walking down the street. Joe Russo, one of the directors of Avengers Endgame, he recently said that very soon we'll be able to ask our streaming platforms uh, to create a, a movie with my avatar acting right next to the avatar of Tom Hanks or Tom Cruise or Margot Robbie and within minutes we will have a full feature length film uh, with background music, action, suspense, drama. Still there's a very real question if artificial intelligence will be able to express emotions as well as human beings can. And so far I've not seen any technology that can do that. I've used voiceover technology and, um, and it has the ability to express emotions in its voice. So if it's reading sad lines, you can hear grief in its voice. Let's give it a go. This is uh, fantastic. I'm so pleased to be here. And I must say, music radio creative are the best. This is uh, fantastic. I'm so pleased to be here. And I must say, music radio creative are the best. I mean, to me, that is insane. So this is a very powerful technology. And Elon Musk, one of the founders of uh, OpenAI, OpenAI is of course the platform that created ChatGPT. He recently said that AI will become so powerful that it will prevent us from creating laws to control it. Regulations are really only put into effect after something terrible has happened. That's correct. If that's the case for AI, and we're only putting regulations after something terrible has happened, it may be too late to actually put the regulations in place. The AI may be in control at that point. So if AI can do that, then I'm very sure that AI will be able to express emotions as well as or even better than human beings. But what we need to understand is that there won't be real emotions, right? A machine can never express real emotions. An actor can. An actor has to activate emotions inside of him or herself to be able to express them on camera. A machine, however, will have the ability to falsely convince us that those emotions are real. This is a very important distinction, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. There are benefits of using AI in Hollywood. For example, it can help writers with writer's block. But what most people don't know is that a lot of writers working in Hollywood, they don't make a living writing original scripts. They make a living by editing other people's work. So now you have a technology like ChatGPT that can do that for writers, and it only charges $20 a month. That takes away a massive revenue stream for writers. On the flip side, some people say that the job of a writer will be converted into the gig economy, where AI will be writing original scripts, and a human writer will be hired on a freelance basis to give the script a more natural feel. And when AI does that, when AI is able to replace writers and actors working in Hollywood, it will also take away all the economy that we have built around this amazing industry. For example, Oscars will be gone, late night talk shows, gossip columns, all of that will be wiped out. Many people will be asking the question, how can this be? How can one technology replace all the human beings working in an industry, especially an industry like Hollywood um, that relies on human creativity? And my answer to that question is that the same thing happened to Detroit. Detroit used to be one of the most prosperous cities in America. Then around 1950s, uh, companies started experimenting with uh, automation and a lot of the jobs that were performed on the production floor by human beings were replaced by machines. And within a few decades, Detroit became the first American city to file for bankruptcy. The Motor City filed for Chapter 9 protection yesterday. It is the largest municipal bankruptcy in American history. It took decades of decay to bring down the one-time industrial giant. Artificial intelligence, in my opinion, will never be able to create truly creative content. 
However, it will have the ability to convince us falsely that the content it creates is original. Because the way artificial intelligence is trained, it is trained on data inserted into it. So it will copy something from this production and some things from, from that production and it will create something new. It will be able to create new content, but not creative content. Because creativity is a process of discovery. At Pixar, for example, um, the story is developed over two to three years before it goes into production, right? Someone comes up with an idea. It's a constant process of failure, iterations, making it better, and eventually they land on something they can work with. With artificial intelligence, all it takes is, is a prompt inserted into the program and within seconds it creates something. So I don't think so that AI will be able to create original content. Um, also keep in mind that as human beings, we have the ability to dream and imagine um, and think um, and come up with creative solutions to, uh, to, to, to problems. AI will never be able to do any of that. The reason I believe we can dream and imagine and we have intuition, in some cases we also receive divine inspiration, that's all happening because we have a soul, because God made us. Uh, I don't have anything against you if you don't believe in God, but you have to keep this in mind that imagination is the heart of creativity and creativity is at the core of innovation and we cannot progress if we are not innovating. Artificial intelligence, however, will never be able to innovate it will only be able to copy from the data inserted into it. So how can we prevent this from happening? I believe we have to create laws to protect human creativity. And there are laws that are currently making their way through the American legal system, one of which will decide if uh, content created by artificial intelligence uh, can be given copyright protection. I'm sure that law will end in the Supreme Court in a few years, and we will see what the Supreme Court decides. Uh, but we have to remember that it has to be an international effort uh, because one of the biggest arguments that production houses will use uh, to advocate the use of artificial intelligence in Hollywood will be that if we don't use AI, we will be left behind compared to other countries like China, India, Israel. Many people don't know that Israel is the third largest country from where content is imported into Hollywood. So all of these countries have to create laws to protect human creativity. We should use technology to make things better but it should never be allowed to surpass humanity. AI has the ability to do that, and that is why it is extremely important that we proceed with extreme caution when it comes to this technology. My name is Azar Fateh. I create content to help creative people succeed at what they do. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.